what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and I'm back with another wonderful box opening from Scrawler Box. So if this is the first time you've ever seen me do a Scrawler Box video, this is an art subscription box. There are art supplies in this box, this little itty bitty box. Look how skinny it is and look how wide it is. It's wonderful. But it is full of wonderful art supplies, some that you probably have no idea existed, or you probably recognize a few of these art supplies. Either way, it's a great way to try different art supplies and it's a surprise every single time. You never know what you're gonna get. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. So let's go ahead and open this up. I need some scissors. I am destroying this box. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. See, this is what it looks like inside. The tissue paper, and that's where the art supplies is, and then, ooh, horsey. Hopefully nothing falls on me. Okay, I got a sticker and a bookmark. <gasps> what? Look at, look at, look at, look at. Look at that's nice and neat packaged in the tissue paper. So pretty. <gasps> I'm so excited right now. First thing we have to look at with Scrawler Box is one, we have a really nice, pretty art print, and we've got this awesome looking horsey with a Cyclops. It's not Cyclops eye, it's like a third eye. So that's really, really pretty. So what I can do is I can look at the back of this art print and I can learn all about this artist on the back. So in case I wanna go and check out their art, I can go and check out their art on their social media or their website. That's really fun because we like to discover new artists and new styles. And then I have a bookmark that tells me everything that I got in this box and it tells me what it's called, what's the brand, and you know, it's good research to go ahead and find if I want to buy more of this particular art supplies. But let's start with my favorite one that I saw so far. Gonsai Tombi <laughs> Starry Colors. I love these, but these are beautiful watercolors and they're metallic and I can't open it. Look at these really beautiful colors. Now these are great for either calligraphy or watercolor. This is a Zig Brush 20. Water brush. I love water brushes. So it's a lot different from a pointed brush. That's really cool because I don't have one of these type of water brushes with the flat. I love water brushes because that means I can fill up all my water into this and then I don't need my, I don't need a cup of water to use when it comes to water coloring and it's just a good thing to have on the go. And then I have one of my favorite kinds of pencils. This is a Derwent Graphic HB. This is a really nice sketching pencil to have. One of my favorite brands. This is a Pigma Micron pen. It's a 05. So you see, it's a little bit bigger than a 01. And then Scrawler Box was so nice to go ahead and send me a piece of black paper. And they sent me a nice piece of watercolor paper. My favorite, favorite thing about the Scrawler Box art subscription box is what's on the back of the bookmark, which is the Scrawler Challenge. Basically what the Scrawler Challenge is, I have to take everything that was given to me in this box and I have to create something for the Scrawler Challenge. So I can only use the art supplies that was given to me in the box. It's a great challenge, it's get your creative juices going, and plus I get to try all these amazing art supplies. So this month's Scrawler Challenge happens to be Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba! Mythical creatures! I'm good at these, I'm so excited! I want to go ahead and jump into a time lapse where I'm gonna show you how I use these new amazing art supplies and I'm gonna show you what mythical creature I come up with. And of course they send me candy. What is this? Awesome. <gasps> it's different colors! Ow, I hurt. <laughs> oh god. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and talk about these art supplies and what I decided to draw for my mythical creature. I do not draw griffins enough and I should draw them more often seeing as I am a Gryffindor from uh, Hogwarts. So I took tests many times, came out as a Gryffindor. So I don't draw many griffins and I honestly haven't really drawn a griffin in a really, really long time. I drew a lot of griffins back in the ninth grade so I thought it's about time to go ahead and revisit the griffin wonderfulness. So I started off with using the Derwent um, HB pencil. It's a great sketching pencil and it erases very, very easy. And I outlined my griffin with the 05 Micron pen. I love Micron pens. They are my choice of liners. And the good thing about the Micron pens is they do not bleed with 
either Copic markers, watercolors, and I go right on with the watercolors, and it does not bleed at all. And that's very important, uh, important, <laughs> that's very important when it comes to fine liners because you don't want them to bleed into your artwork. So I I feel very confident with any kind of watercolor if, I use, if I'm outlining something with my micron pens, and that means... I'm confident that my watercolor is not going to bleed. And as you see, I am applying all over with this water brush with the beautiful starry gold colors. They are a beautiful, wonderful thing to work with. They really pop. And especially that yellow gold, my goodness, that is by far my favorite out of the whole palette. It's beautiful. And that's what I chose as my background for my Griffin. I just wanted him to look very majestic because Let's face it, Gryffindor's the best. No, I'm kidding, guys. I know you're all Ravenclaw, and you're, <laughs> you're Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff. Tons of Hufflepuffs out there. I barely meet any Ravenclaws, and oh my goodness, the Slytherin. <laughs> okay, we're done talking about this. I would say if you're really into calligraphy or watercolor and you use a lot of yellows in your watercolor or even for a highlight, these beautiful starry colors could definitely highlight your watercolors. Um, I feel like they would definitely highlight a mystical scene. So we have the myst myst this mystical creature and it's really, they're very thick. As you can see, the watercolor, the starry colors went over my outlines that I made on my griffin so I had to go over and re-outline it just to make it pop a little bit more and to define everything but they are thick if you get them on thick they are very thick watercolors and they can go on really diluted as well look at how beautiful the water is it's so gorgeous I had to show you guys I stared at my water for the longest time and look how shiny it is. This is the perfect touch to any mystical creatures you guys paint or any beautiful watercolors you want to enhance with these starry colors. Oh, they're beautiful. Now, wasn't that a lot of fun? See, doesn't it make you want to get your own scaraballer box? Because it's just, it's a good way to try different art supplies. That's what I like about it. It's the art supplies and just a surprise in general because hey, if I like this art supplies, I'm gonna go buy more. Thank you, Scrawler Box, once again for sending me a most wonderful, beautiful box full of wonderful goodies. And I'm going to leave it down in the description box down below, right down there, and across the screen as well, Scrawler Box's website so you can go and check out how you can get your own box. I hope you have a most wonderful day. And I'm gonna see you guys later. Bye! Do, 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 do. Arr.